Why is Magma apparently such a better fruit now for PvP than it was previously in Grand Peace Online? Well, it's due to a couple of things. First, when it was Update 3, Magma suffered from two things. Magma had no good block breaks, and it had no combo potential. Magma Eruption, probably Magma's most important move for those two categories, was really easy to avoid. And even if you afro dashed into it, it could still be perfect blocked. That was a thing it was suffering from. But here's the thing. After update 4 came out, and they buffed Magma Eruption, it solved both of those problems. Magma Eruption provided to be a better block break than it was before, because it came out much quicker. And you got hyper armor when you were charging it. But now that it comes out quicker, you can also combo extend with it. It's a true combo now, m one into Magma Eruption, but that isn't all. See, what most people are neglecting is that Magma has no damage cap. Magma actually doesn't have a damage cap. Certain other fruits like Gura don't either, but the difference is that Gura is supposed to be a fruit to aid your M1s. For fruits like Gura, your M1s deal the damage, but Magma is a damage dealing fruit. You are supposed to put a lot of points into Magma. Now with most other damage dealing fruits like Amira, most of their moves have damage caps, but Magma doesn't. So that's the other reason it has been excelling lately, due to the fact that having no damage cap proves to be more relevant as the updates go by. That's basically it. Magma is good now, because the damage cap it does not have has proven to be quite relevant now. And the fact that Magma Eruption gave it a better block break and actual combo potential. Thank you for watching and have a good day.